and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for August the 19th through August the 25th. And what an incredible uh, celestial sky we have. A lot going on. Um, huge energy shifts. But before I get into that, I want to say welcome. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy these readings and I hope you come back. And if you are returning, thank you. I really appreciate your support and your loyalty. Um, uh, these re these <laughs> these readings are for the collective. Please um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't assume that everything I say is applicable to you and your life. Um, if you would like a personal, more tailored reading, however, you may click on this link here or go to my website. The links will be below. These are your sun, moon and rising signs. Um, they're for your sun, moon and rising. So check out your sun, moon and rising if you know that. And all the links to everything will be in the description box below. You know, it's a show more. It's in there. Um, on your phone, it's a little arrow pointing down. Now, um, what else? These readings come in three sections. Um, the intro, which is this, I put that on every reading. Then you've got the astrology report. Um, and then the tarot reading. I will have skip time stamps below in the show more section, plus a description of what's going on. Now, listen, guys, please, I really appreciate you thank liking, subscribing and um, commenting on my videos. And another way to support me is through Patreon. I have a Patreon page. The link should be here. It'll be in the show more section below too. And um, and you can donate as little as a dollar a month. That's not a lot, but it's for you, but it's huge for me. I can do a lot with that. Um, so that would be lovely. And if not, of course, you know, I'm not, I don't want to push you into doing anything you're not comfortable with, just liking, sharing and uh, commenting and subscribing is um, adequate too. So without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome to your astrological section of your reading for uh, this coming week, the 19th through the 25th of August. I can't believe we're almost at the end of August. Anyway, um, I just want to mention today, look, please forgive me, these are a little late again because I had to accept some work. <laughs> I gotta, you know, I had to accept the work. So I'm doing the best I can. And so I'm recording these Sunday night late. You'll probably get them on Monday, I'm hoping. Now, uh, there's so much going on in the celestial sky. There's big, huge shifts in energy. We're going from fire into earth. So we've been in this passionate, creative, energetic, um, you know, uh, energy and we are coming into a more grounded, calm, tranquil and practical energy. So whereas fire, we've had all this fire and fixed signs, um, you know, fixed energy and and it has been wonderful. It's been very creative, but it's also a little kind of uncertain, right? So there's some little fear there uh, as well. But when we move into this um, earth energy, we have this practical energy. We can manifest things. We can see um, ahead clearly and there's some hope there. Um, we have some wonderful things happening the week after but let me keep it in this week right. So on Wednesday so it's the 18th and that's today Mars moved into Virgo. On Wednesday the 21st Venus moves into Virgo and on the same day Mercury is in a beautiful relationship to that um, abundant planet Jupiter. And on Friday, the sun moves into Virgo. Now, this is, we're moving from this fire, this very fixed fire into this mutable 
mutable earth energy. What does mutable mean? It means kind of easygoing. You know, I can go this way, I can go that way. I'm not so fixed. I'm flexible. So it's this flexible energy, right? And and Virgo is this planet that, you know, is, Virgo is the sign, sorry, of details, right? And the analytical mind. Um, I say, you know, they say the devil's in the details. God is in the details for this, darling. Love is in the details. Um, that's what we're going to say. Love is in the details. Now, we are going to have this practical energy and we'll be able to get things done. I'm already feeling that energy. I noticed how I started organizing my desk, my house. It was crazy in this, you know, fire energy. And now I'm coming into, we, I'm saying I'm, we are coming into this earth energy, this practical earth energy. And now things are, I can organize things. I can slow down. I can see the details. When, you know, we were in Leo, it was like exciting, and fun and passionate, but I, I, I couldn't see the details. And now I'm seeing the details. Now, on Saturday, Venus and Mars are coming together, what we call conjunct. Now, Venus and Mars are the archetypal lovers, right? Men are from Mars and Venus, women are from Venus. So we have this archetypal lovers energy coming in on Saturday. I mean, it's very exciting, but very um, grounded. So it's not like flying in the air, you know, with the, uh, you know, the fire energy. This is more um, calm and tranquil and stable, if you will. This is more stable energy. I feel that we are going to come into, we're going to see the practical um, solutions to uh, some perhaps issues that we've had coming up to this time. And then we're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to be able to um, figure out how to solve these problems. We're going to have hope coming in, um, as I said before. So this is an exciting time. And next week, as I said, on the 29th, I believe, Mercury moves into its home sign of Virgo. So we are having all this Virgo energy um, coming in. So it is a very different feeling from this passion and power and fire, which can be kind of volatile too, right? To this more grounded and more solution oriented. The only thing we have to be careful of is not to pay too much attention on the details and not to be too hard on us ourselves or others, um, you know, while we're looking perhaps for the problem. Um, so, guys, without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading for August the 19th through August the 25th. Uh, one last shuffle for you guys. Okay. This is for Libra, for Libra. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Libra for this coming week? Three cards for Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. Oh, there you go. Oh, gosh, they all came out. <laughs> Two more cards for Libra, please. Two more cards for Libra. I think you have lots of, uh, lots of messages here. Ah. Oh. One more card for Libra, please. One more card for Libra. There is definitely some crossover here. So, ah, oh, so interesting. There you go. So check out your sun, moon and rising Libra. Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, 
This is for your son. No, for, oh my goodness, I'm losing it. This is for Libra, for Libra. These are qualifying cards, clarifying cards. <laughs> qualifying, clarifying. Oh my goodness. Okay, please clarify. There it is. Please clarify. There it is. Wow. Please clarify. There it is. There's definitely some crossover here, guys. So do check out your sun, moon, and rising. Here are your cards. So the first card out for you is the magician, darling. Clarifying the magician is the emperor. Then you have the Nine of Cups, followed by the Empress. You have the Emperor and the Empress. And guess what? You have the Empress again from the other deck. And you have the world. Libra is exciting. So the first card is the Magician. And the Magician is about creating something out of nothing. Seemingly nothing, but there are four elements. He is, he has, he's in possession of four elements, fire, air, water, and earth. And he will create something seemingly spectacular out of nothing. Um, so this, when the, when the magician comes in, it's saying you have the power and you have everything you require to create the life that you desire. So you may, um, Libra, you may be feeling a little, what's the word? Um, I, I want to say stuck or that you don't have what you need, but you do. You're not seeing it. I feel when the magician comes in, you're not seeing what's in front of you. Um, remember, you can create your own life. And look, clarifying it is the emperor, right? The king of kings. You can't get higher than the emperor. And the emperor is about um, just getting rid of anything you don't want. So, so this is kind of streamlined to elements, right? It's like you don't... I feel like you don't need belongings. You don't need um, uh, material wealth in terms... I feel that you're judging your life by uh, how much material wealth you have. And this, I'm, I'm really getting a strong sense of that's not, that you don't need that to be successful or to create the life that you desire. Um, now the emperor is about clearing out things that no longer work for you. It's about crossing your T's, dotting your I's. It's about getting everything sorted and ready um, to get go forward. So I feel that you have to do, this is a time of preparation. It's a time of decluttering. It can be even decluttering your mind, but decluttering your space for sure. Um, also friendships. You can, you know, it doesn't have to be like, I'm never talking to you again, but back off from certain people, you know, distance yourself. Um, and, you know, you don't, you, you have more power than you understand. You have, um, you're not seeing your power. You really don't feel that you are in control or in charge, but you are. Libra. Now the next card out for you is the nine of cups. And this is like, you're almost at the finish line. Don't give up. This is like being very happy with what you have. This is about emotional fulfillment. And you're going to get this emotional fulfillment, Libra, through creativity. This is the Empress. The Empress is, she's like sh 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 crazy creative. She's like, she could be in the kitchen creating a gastronomic creation, as I say. <laughs> you know, if she's like me when I'm cooking. There's like food all over the floor, the wall, everything. But then I make something amazing, <laughs> right? So she's got, she has brilliant ideas and she is manifesting 
um, her creation. You know, she's working and she's she's a little messy, yes, because the emperor, once she's been at work, has to come in and clear it all up, right? Tidy it all up. So you are in this preparation to clear everything, clear all the decks so that you can create something amazing. Whatever that is for you, Libra. Is it artwork? Is it food? Is it children? I don't know. Whatever this is, what are you creating? What lights a fire in your soul, in your heart? What makes your heart sing? What feeds your soul? Um, creativity is major. And look, hello, you've got the Empress again. And this time she is Venus. And this is saying really get in touch with your sensual and feminine side. And Venus is your ruling planet, Libra. Um, and she is moving into Virgo this week. So it's about details. He's about the details. Uh, pay attention to the details. Love is in the details. OMG, love is in the details. And you have the world. This is about, look, don't underestimate yourself. You have everything that you need to go forward. Just do it, Libra. Don't be in fear. You've got the world. The world is going to support this direction that you're going in. Go forward. Be creative. Allow those creative juices to flow. Don't restrict yourself from your brilliant ideas. Don't restrict, don't, don't negate them. So every time you have a, a, a really wild out there idea, don't be that one, that Virgo energy saying, oh, you're silly. That's never going to happen. You're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to turn that voice off. Change the way you are. The universe will, you know, be optimistic, be excited, be um, positive, be creative. You're going to create something out of nothing if you can quieten that voice within you and clear the decks. Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, family, neighbors, social media. Help me get this channel off the ground. <laughs> help, me, help me get it um, to grow. And comment, please comment, give me feedback. I live for that, I always respond. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week.